Good early morning. This video is five days late. This is my Ozempic uh, follow-up. Uh, I think it was week number five, if I'm not mistaken. Life got in the way last week, and we were busy going to doctor's appointments on Tuesday. And so I found out that I could take my Ozempic at least no longer, not waiting no longer than five days. So it was a busy week, and uh, I decided to do it uh, here today, which is Saturday morning, and I'm going to post this video today. So uh, everything was going good. Last weekend, I had, uh, we decided we'd go out here on Saturday to just our little local cafe, which is always good. Uh, on their menu, they had a big bowl of red beans. And when I say red beans here in Texas, most of the people know that means pinto beans. Not, not kidney beans so they had that in cornbread and uh, onion and I thought oh man that, that just sounds great so I decided that I would get a bowl of red beans and cornbread with some onions sweet onions and, and it was good with a glass of iced tea oh man that just that, that that's a wonderful meal for me but I woke up Sunday morning not feeling good and I woke up Sunday morning. Well, I couldn't stay out of the bathroom all day long. It was awful. Oh my God, I'm having flashbacks when I was on this stuff before. That's what I got before I got like That's when I got off of it. Because every day it was like that. I thought, oh, crap. I started to say the other word. I, I can't go through this again. So, um... I finally took enough stuff that it stopped uh, on Monday morning. That was about 24 hours in. And then I was so weak, I didn't feel like doing anything. And then rocked around Tuesday, I felt better. And uh, here I am. But Tuesday, we had a doctor's appointment. Thursday, we had a doctor's appointment. So, uh, nothing related to the Ozempic or anything. So, I decided I would wait, and I've been fine ever since. Uh, I did do a little research. Uh, two things that Ozempic said, and I forgot. It said, stay away from foods that are high in gas. Well, you know, pinto beans. You know, you could run the natural gas uh, energy system off of those for most people. And so, I had those. Even though they never bothered me before, but they maybe they did this time. I don't know. Maybe I just got a bug. I just don't know. And uh, I've had a, a gallbladder removed years ago. And uh, the surgeon said then, he said, you know, you might have some foods that, that might bother you. So, and, and that was one of them. But nothing's ever bothered me since. I've never had problems with... Uh, spicy foods any, any kind of food so I don't know if this was just an isolated event I'm going to take my shot here in about uh, 20 minutes I came to McDonald's to get some coffee and uh, I will uh, I will give y'all an update next week and uh, I guess the new updates will be on Saturday morning and uh, so uh, but everything oh everything a good bonus to all of this, I've lost 10 pounds since I started this. That's about two and a half pounds a week. Uh, weighed this morning, so um, that's a good thing. And I feel good today, so I, I would play that song. I feel good, no, 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 no. But I know YouTube would say, no, no, you can't do that. So I won't do that. And sorry you get to listen to the old dude sing a little part hard of it so anyway y'all have a good week uh, thanks for being here for my health updates and my Ozempic uh, my Ozempic world and uh, I just got my new, next prescription in yesterday it's got seven weeks I've got one left on this so I'll bring y'all back next week and uh, we'll see how the old dude does this week talk to y'all later